one. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, fuck it, let's push. Fucking push. Oh, thank you, Wallyo. Oh, okay. That is literally, like, the biggest threat. Okay. If we lose one, one more, though, and then we'll definitely have to reset. But... Ugh. Oh, it's not a... We're, we're, like, right at the end. Which is why I don't want to do it. Which is why I don't want to fucking reset, but... Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh no, the, it was the healer over here too. Ah, uh, Underdog needs a... Uh... Let's trade this, Let's trade that, okay. Okay. Get you here. Play a Diddy for Wallyo. And this this might be this might end up being our last turn. Otherwise, because, oh, okay. Yeah, let's get rid of this devil axe. Because I definitely don't want to deal with it. Okay. Now, cajon. All right. Well, that's fine. Get some chip damage in. Dun dun dun. You need to be right, nice right now. Oh, fucking heal staff. All right. Can we get a kill in? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, Zakawat, let's go. Thank you. Defense. I mean, he's a mage, so defense is nice, but not really what I wanted here. Okay, here should be a kill for... should be. Will probably be a kill for Balan. God, I hope it is. I base all of my strategies about uh, around decisions I make in the moment that have to go perfectly every time. Alright. So let's... Heal up, Surya, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we're not. We might not be able to even get all the houses. Let's get Surya over here. Equip that steel axe and just wait. Oh, he's already moved. Alright, that's fine. Let's get a kill in here for Anissa. Okay. Let's move Kasuma down here. Equip that brave sword. Pop the support. Yeah. Anissa, nice shot. I was a little off. That last cavalryman could have fallen on, fallen on one of our own. I should have hit a hit a little more back, a little more to the left to knock him back. This isn't an archery range. This is the battlefield. Perfection is impossible. Survival is paramount. Striving for perfection in my craft can be done anywhere. The battlefield merely presents new challenges for me. You're, stounding, you're starting to sound like Kuda. Well, he was like an uncle to me growing up. He was one who introduced me to the bow. Mm-hmm. The Dark Stallion himself. Regardless, Anissa, please be safe out here. I can't keep both eyes on you. Don't worry about me, but thanks. Okay. A nice support. Alright, we're gonna have to do this. Let's, uh, box in somebody. Hope for the best. Uh, it's just Zul Jalal. We can't move. Okay. That's fine. This is what we wanted. 
Oh god, okay. Can we can you dodge? Thank you, Zakwat. Can you double? I don't think so. I don't think he'll double. Yeah. Oh no! Michael! Okay, you're fine. Okay. Ooh, ooh, oof. Alright, that's rough. That's a rough one. Ah, uh, that's a that's a big hit. But I think we might be fine. Oh, oh, that would have been a really big hit. Please tell me you kill this guy. You don't. Okay. So many. Shit. Okay. Can you double? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cajon. Thank you. Praise be. Alright. Well. Oh, there's so many things. There's so many, so many enemies. You know what? We only have two turns left. Oof. Okay, good. Thank you, Steina. Ooh, man. Ooh, buddy. Alright. Oh. Oh, you got doubled. Oh, that would have been that would have been a dead Steina if he didn't dodge. Okay. Can we please Lord Titus, call it off. This is mad. We're throwing away the lives of our men. It's pretty dang clear that this isn't going anywhere. Storch, this isn't They're dying for a just cause. Storch, what are you saying? We are stopping this now. I'll do it myself if I have to. Storch, wait! Okay. Um, that's so many, so many units. Oh my god. I'm in such a bad position. Okay. Alright. We need... Okay, we, we have a couple of turns to play around with. So let's get... Let's hope that this uh, Nosferatu hits. Thank you. Alright. So what we need to do now... We need to get you down. Down there. Okay. Might be... What we need to do might be a little reckless. Okay, let's go. This will be a Surya kill. Oh, thank you for missing. Okay. We're gonna have to just sit Surya here. Right there. And uh, hope for the best. Okay. Can we kill? We need we need this guy to die. Okay, we need to move Underdonk if that's if that's what's gonna have what we're gonna ugh, words. We need to move Underdonk. Okay. Oh boy. I don't have any kind of Axe Reaver. Okay. Let's, uh... Emerald Axe, I guess? Come on, hit this. Please hit this. Thank you. Okay. We should be fine now. Dodge. Nope. Alright. I could have hoped. There was a, there was a chance. Okay. Okay, yeah, I definitely, I definitely need to make sure that all of these guys die. Let's, uh, let's play this for Underdunk. Okay. Michael should be safe now. Of course. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. This is, this is gonna have to just be a long one. Okay. Alright, here's a cajon kill. Jesus, alright. We have a horse slayer there. I'm not a fan of that, but I don't, I don't have any other choice. But let's, uh, 
two can play at this game. Let's do this. Do Cajon, my friend. How are things in Boston? King Hammond is well, I trust. Ah, Chief. Well met, my friend. All is well in my homeland. King Hammond is well. His health is strong, and the twin heirs to the throne are robust. It is good to hear that the line is strong. What about you, Chief? Keta is to be your bride, no? I am sure you will rear robust children, too. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's the hope. She is quite keen on having five children. We'll both be quite busy. An understatement, Chief. You're practically rearing a tribe of children. What about you, Duke? You're still a bachelor on the prowl, are you not? Right you are, Chief. I will not be bound by a woman just yet. I still have much to see and explore. Just don't break too many hearts, Duke Cajon. You'll develop a poor reputation in time. Ha! You wound me, Chief. Okay. Alright. Can we get... Nope. Can we get... Please hit this. Thank you. Okay. So that's the Dragon Axe down. We still have the Horse Slayer right there. Can we... So much luck involved with that attack. Let's hope we hit a, sem a 74. Okay. Alright. I think... All might be well now. We're still... We're still... Gonna be a little iffy with, uh... A little iffy with Surya, since... He's gonna... He's gonna take so many attacks, but... Okay, my Sky Piercer broke, which... What's bound to happen. So let's, uh... Let's get some chip damage. Of course. Well, why why would it? Why would why wouldn't that miss? Okay. Alright. Let's uh only thing. Let's bury you up for probably no reason. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Let's move. This is yeah. This is kind of what because Miasma would have would have broken anyways. Oh it's, yes, she doesn't get doubled. All right, we should be fine. Hopefully, we should hopefully be fine. Thank you. Oh, I'm actually really glad he missed. We can back off with him just a little bit. Ow. Okay, well, yo. I mean, we, we're we losing Baltani, or Baltney, whatever her name was. Um. Oh, well, yo, I really wish you would have dodged that. And Kerr. But this this map is rough. This is, this is a rough map. Fucking Axe Reaver, of course we do. Alright. Jesus. Does he have... Does, wait. <laughs> Does he have Vantage? Okay. Oh, well, that's a broken Steel Axe. We have a lot of broken weapons. We broke a lot of weapons with him. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, we need Wario to really back off. Back way the fuck off. Look who decided to show up. Is Lord Titus going to finally pull his weight in this fight? Call it off. This is insane. It's a bloodbath. Hm. You think I'd let Wario slip away? Deny myself the opportunity to bring glory to Offenlock? To end this war? Have you tried talking to him? I'm going to do this myself. And there he goes. Into the battlefield. Throwing his life away. What a boorish fool. His resolve is admirable, if nothing else. Let's see if your brand of diplomacy works with the plainsmen. Okay, we're on the last turn. We need, yeah, we definitely need to back off with you and pop a vulnerary. Good, okay.
So let's visit here. So it appears even this town is unsafe. I've lingered too long. I must head to Navon to find out his location. Ah, excuse me, just the musings of an old man. Take this, I trust it will be helpful to, for you. Ooh, Darkstone, nice! I mean, it's a little bit too late for right now, but... Does anybody over here have a vulnerary? I mean, we have vulneraries, but... Okay. Alright. Here should be a kill for Balan. And now she only has those for Atu. Oh, man. We've used, we've used Balan so much. Okay, let's get, let's get you here. 15. Yeah, that, that wouldn't, that wouldn't really do it. Okay. Uh, let's bring you down here. Okay. We're gonna have to possibly take a hit with Keta. But this is probably, this is, it's really the only way. Actually, oh shit, we might need to take like, oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, Ketsit might not survive. Fuck. All right, let's get. Do we have, okay, we have an elixir over here. Now let's, uh, let's pop this, let's pop this elixir. Uh -huh. okay. Right. Let's, uh, let's get, let's get you over here before I forget about you. Uh, I think we might have, oh wait, no, he has an elixir. All right. Hey, Lulu. Um, okay, let's pop that. Girl. Yeah, we're not we're not getting that house. It's just it's just not going to happen. All right, let's. We're just gonna need to get out of range of as many people as possible. Okay. Let's go under dunk. Okay, good. That didn't appear. Um. Randolph, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this. We're gonna trade those over. We're just gonna hope you survive. Um, okay. All right, here's the last turn. Let's see if we lose anybody. Can you dodge? Thank you, thank you, Radislav. Can you miss? That would be pretty sweet, actually. Be really nice. It'd be a really cool thing. No? Alright. That's, I guess, what was gonna happen anyways. Alright. Magic skill, speed, luck, defense. Nice. Defense level right now is so helpful. Okay. Dodge! 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 Oh, thank you. Okay. Good job, Ketit. Uh, I'm worried about Ketit. Because if Ketit, if Ketit goes down, I have to redo this map. Okay. And dodge! Uh, can you miss? Can you miss? Please? No? Of course. Okay. 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 Yeah, we, 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 only, we, he only has a hand axe left. <laughs> Which I think might actually break soon. Okay. Dodge. Thank you. Now, if you could not double two that, but nope. Okay. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Okay. All that's left is that. Oh, thank you. Thank fucking God. A crit would be cool. No? All right. That's fine. This fucking nightmare of a map. That map, it's not that the map is a nightmare, it's just, that was, that was a, that was a rough map. Alright. 
Stop. Stop the fighting. We are trying to stop the fighting here. Lay down your arms. We? You're quite bold, soldier of Nivan. You are alone. My name is Storch. I fight with Lord Titus of Bellaro. I don't want to fight you. It'll only lead to more death. More heartbreak. I don't think you want to do any of this fighting either, right? I, I will protect my people from your foreign incursion. You're most bold to strike at me over false claims and then preach diplomacy. Your pacifism is hypocrisy. You're not wrong. I can't say I speak for all of Nivan, but I am speaking for myself here. I think we should talk this out, because it doesn't make sense. Would you consider meeting the Lords of Bellaro and Offenlock? Storch, was it? Although you stand before me as my enemy, I can tell in your heart that you do not see me as such. For that, I will choose to trust you. However, if I sense any foul play, I will not hesitate to strike back. And you'd every right, have every right to. Heck, if anyone on our side tried any funny business, I join in with you. Hmm. Indeed. I will tell my men to cease fighting. I trust you will do the same. We shall meet in the fort on my terms. Is this agreeable? Heck, I won't speak for others, but I don't see why not. Lord Lori, where is Storch? Ah, look who decided to show up. If it isn't Lord Titus. Your man Storch ran off to kiss and make up with the enemy. Storch certainly ascribes to his own methods. But is his unique approach has helped us get so far. Let me tell you something about being in charge, Lord Titus. You call the shots. You run the show. If you let any soldier, no matter how valuable, tell you how to run your army or make decisions against your will, issues will arise. You will have strife. People will die. A strong leader takes command. Don't forget that. You make a valid point, Lord Lori. I never failed to make a poignant point. Look, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Storch was the true lord here. You're playing second fiddle to him. Regardless of his methods, our power is granted to us by the Emperor. We, as loyal vassals to him, must obey his orders. He wants us to smash some foreign cavalry, we don't question it. Your boy Storch, however, doesn't seem to get this. Hmm, I see. Ah, here he comes. It looks like the fighting is winding down. Hey, I spoke with our chief. He's willing to chat with us. I think it's worth our time to. <laughs> Let's see if your bold stratagem pays off, Storch. I suggest you join him, Lord Titus. Will you not join us? Surely you'd want to be part of this council. Unlike you, I suffered heavy losses already. I need to tend to my army. If anything breaks out, you know where you can call on me. But now it's your turn to do some of the heavy lifting. Fair enough. I will report back post-haste. Storch, let us speak with this chief. Let's go. Their naivete is astounding. This is a trap. Don't be sorry. If he falls for it, I'd say the fool deserved it. He didn't send in any soldiers to back us up that fight. Lord Titus, you're an interesting one. Men, lay down your arms. We will tend to the wounded and the deceased. We will prepare an honorable burial for the good man who died today. Chief Walyo, do you suspect this is an elaborate trap to get into this fort? Peace, Kasuma. I trust this man. It is like Balan foretold. He has the scent of the earth. He appears baseborn, yet his actions are noble. I could see it in his eyes. He wants he was true to himself. Just be careful. We'll all be keeping a close eye. These Nevanese are not to be trusted so easily. My hand will rest on the hilt of my blade. There should be no need. Bulan foresaw this. She is never wrong. But thank you, Kasuma. Please, make sure the others stay on their guard. At once! Chief Walyo, this is Lord Titus. Well met, Chief Walyo. It is an honor to be in your presence today. My deepest gratitude for your willingness to speak with us. Da da da. Will the Lord of Offenlock be joining us as well? She is tending to the dead and the wounded, I'm afraid. I will speak for us both on this council. I trust this is satisfactory. Alright. So you want to talk? Let us talk. Why did your people assault Kuching? Allow me to explain. I see. So the heir to the throne of Lonsk was murdered, and Lord Scholstrom and Emperor Festin presume Kuching is the culprit. I have no proof that I didn't prove that I did not commit this heinous act. 
So you have to take me at my word. Coaching has its own issues. I'm not out to pick fights with the largest empire in the land. It is but a fool's errand. Tell me, Lord Titus, why are the we Kuchingi suspected? I do not know, but Lao simply answered the call to arms. Emperor Festin showed strong conviction that Kuching was at fault. Our nations have never shared strong relations. Our history details a challenging relationship, strewn with strife, border disputes, and bloodshed. While we recently have attained peace, the sudden invasion is alarming. I can assure you, on my life, that Lady Sigrid's death was not by my hand. So who the heck killed her then? I do not know, Storch. None of the other chiefs in coaching control lands near the border. If any were to pass through, I would hear about it. No such trespassing took place. I see. This is most troubling. You think this was all a big setup to get a war going? Your emperor would willingly kill off one of his own? He is the emperor. He has nothing to gain from the murder of an heir. A child, no less. This is a bold claim, Storch. But perhaps your intuition is spot on. There are many questions here. I suspect the emperor has the answers. I too would understand why we were framed. Would like to understand why we were framed. To use my people as a scapegoat is unforgivable. Some people just got this hatred in their heart. They'll blame someone who isn't like them because they don't understand. We're all just people, right? Based on what, you, based on what you're saying about the history of everyone, I'd say it ain't a shock if they're gonna try to pin this on you. We should go talk to the Emperor. Storch, to get an audience with the Emperor is no easy task. There are procedures to follow and- To heck with all that! If he can send us to kill innocent people with a few words, we should be able to at least ask him about it. I ain't gonna just listen and do what I'm told. Not unless it makes good sense. And this, sure as heck, ain't making any. But Storch, a leader must have control. An unquestionable authority. They must. Maybe he does for you, Lord Titus. I'll respect any decent human just for giving their life. But a leader's power comes from the people. Absolute rule? Sounds like a load of hogwash. Storch. Lord Titus, I've stuck with you this far because you listen. You've always talked a big game about wanting to help the people. And you've been helpful to me, my family, and my friends. This emperor only seems to be in it for himself. Ain't got time to respect someone like that. I ain't no pawn. Nor am I some stooge, Lord Titus. So you will try to end this war by reasoning with your Emperor? Surely you will be branded traitors should you turn and march back home. I doubt you will receive a warm reception. Realistically, you will be executed. No, it will be a difficult road, but perhaps... Perhaps we can reason with him. It is worth a try, is it not? I'd say so. He wouldn't want to fight his own people, would he? I don't know the politics of your Empire. Could you truly go against the Emperor's wishes? The Emperor... Will not be keen, to say the least. But, while the other Lords may be loyal to the Empire, I wonder if they can be swayed. So your Lords are not at all too different from Kachini Chiefs. How do you mean, Chief? Your Lords may answer to the Emperor who reigns supreme, but that does not mean they are blind in their loyalty. Many great Chiefs have fallen to coalitions of smaller Chiefs. However, that does not mean the road is without challenge. Lord Titus, Storch, are you both ready to accept that? To defy the voice of, voice of authority in the Empire. Yes, I am ready. But what will happen to Bellaro, our homes? If we go against the Emperor, wouldn't, won't he destroy it? I will send notice immediately to fortify our defenses at home. Surely word of our seize file will reach the Empire soon, Emperor soon. We can only hope that, our, that hope our other lords will be sympathetic to us. You both sound like you're about to embark on a dangerous road. Perhaps it would be wise for me to assist you in this. You would? You very easily could have continued fighting and wearing out me and my men. We have been captured, killed, or worse. You didn't choose that path. For this, I am grateful. Additionally, I have been framed. I want to hear from this emperor himself. I want to hear the truth from his lips. We cannot let the truth hide in darkness. Sounds like we're aligned then. Navan and Kuching, joining together. Chief Walio, thank you for your generosity. We will need your strength. I trust our road to Balti will not, will not be a peaceful one. Do not think this alliance is an easy choice for me. I will send word to the other chiefs to seize fire. If there's any mischief, I will turn to my home. Do not betray the trust I am reluctantly placing in you. We're grateful for it, Chief. 
I know it must be hard to join up with old enemies. I'll make sure I don't betray that trust you place in us. Now, now, this is not the time for sentimentality. We must prepare. Excuse me, but before we depart, I do have a question for Lord Titus. Ah yes, Kasuma, please come forward. Lord Titus, Storch, this is Kasuma. She is a warrior in my service. Certainly among the most brave and loyal Kuching has ever seen. Well met, Lady Kasuma. Please, what question do you have for us? We had a force of soldiers stationed here in this town to cover the border. My sister Hindrawan was the captain of this troop. It's been over two weeks since we last heard from her. Have you engaged in battle with a woman with that name? Hindrawan, that's quite a lovely name. But I'm afraid, Lady Kasuma, that we did meet with her. We came into Kuching through the old canal and fought an ambush. The woman leading the leading the hor leading the horseback riders had long brown hair and this magnificent sword of ice. She was tough. That is most certainly her. She was tough, you say? So you fought her in battle? Tell me, where is she? Peace, Kasuma. There is no need to raise your voice. We bested her in battle. She fought real hard, but we defeated her troop. I'm sorry, Kasuma. Storch. So my sister, she's dead. Hindron, my elder sister, the only family I had left. She's gone now. Why now? Then any consolation for you, she fought honorably to the end. She gave it everything she got. Although to die on the battlefield is befitting a woman like her, she is still my family. Lord Titus, Storch, thank you. Thank you for being truthful about my sister. My brother died right before my eyes when I was younger. I know how it feels to lose a sibling. Especially an older one you admire. Someone you draw strength from. Storch, I'm sorry, but... Please, excuse me. I need some air. Shall we go after her? No. Please, Lord Titus, Kasuma must grieve. This is the nature of war. Kasuma, like any soldier, knows the risks. But this bloodshed gives me rage. Lord Titus, Storch, had we met on the field of battle, knowing Hindroan's fate, I can no doubt tell you that we would have torn you to pieces. However, we are allies now, and by Kuching's honor, we will do no such thing. For Kasuma, she understands this as well. She must accept that she will not be able to avenge her sister. At least, not directly. But please, give her space. Thank you for being honest. Many men would shy, shy from speaking of such brutal truths. Alright. Heck, Chief. I'm doing what I would, I would, I'd want done if it were me. Sitting around worrying about people you care about, especially if it's family. It's the sort of thing that can really eat, eat you up inside. Like a dog gnawing on an old bone. It's only right to tell an ally the truth, right? Indeed. Thank you, Storch. Now then, let's make camp so we can depart on the morrow. Until then, Storch? Lord Titus? Dot dot dot. So your little gambit paid off. Well, I must commend you for stopping the fighting. But this tale of yours is hard for me to swallow. I don't understand why Emperor Festin would start this war. Especially if Kuching is not responsible. It is a question I, too, have mulled over for hours. On the other hand, Chief Walyu has offered to assist and clear his name. This should lead to an armistice for the time being. Ugh. I cannot say for how long. It will depend on our success. We've suffered heavy losses on both sides. I think the time to rest and regroup will be appreciated. So what will you do, Lord Lori? Will you join us in search of truth? Lord Titus, I am not so willing to confront the Emperor directly. With this, I risk the livelihood of my people. Your state is far removed from the capital. Your people will likely not suffer any retaliation as a result of this. If you were to suffer an attack, you would have time to prepare. Offenlock is adjacent to the capital region. If I betray the em Emperor in this way, I cannot guarantee my people's safety. That is of utmost importance to me. However, I don't intend to stop you. I will turn to Offenlock and wait. Lord Lori, thank you. Your generosity will not be forgotten on this day. <laughs> Just be careful, alright? Remember, you lead people now. Their lives are yours. Any of those who choose to join you on this quest of yours, treasure them. They are what make you. Remember that. I will. A group will depart on the morrow. Thank you, Lord Lori. 
I do not think any of the lords wanted to fight in this war. The Emperor's claim is truly false. What will happen then? I will sit and watch. I pray I am correct in all this. I fear the worst is yet to come. Well, Storch, I must say it's impre I'm impressed with how you handled yourself. I did not expect you to be so diplomatic. The speech you gave about your brother, it was moving. That could have gotten much worse. However, I am also concerned. Yes, this is troubling. Well, I am glad we are no longer fighting Kuching. I am concerned for our futures and what lies ahead. And Lord Titus was so gung-ho about the war just earlier today. The man likes to flip and he likes to flop. I've never seen a man so fickle. He's like a woman who can't pick which man to dance with. Yes, Lord Titus is cunning. So I suppose he must have some sort of scheme. He has not played his hand yet. Yeah. He stammered for a while about even stopping the fight. Then the moment we talked to Chief Walio, he advocated for peace. I don't get it. Then, when I was about to tell Kasuma about her sister, he interrupted me. But I jumped in. I think he was ready to lie to straight through his teeth. I couldn't let him do that. Noble wishing to lie? Color me shocked. It is not uncommon for leaders to switch sides on an issue when tides turn. Theme for a noble, this is a most unusual maneuver. <laughs> Interesting man maneuver. To march into Balti with the leader of your enemy in tow? He too will be branded a traitor and executed on the spot. So we'll be fighting against our own. Let's hope not. Kasuma, are you well? Oh, hello, Chief. I'm doing all right, but I've been better. You handled yourself well back there. Many who do not share your restraint would, ha would have lunged at them hearing the news that they shared. To hold your tongue at the very least is remarkable. I... I had expected this. Perhaps knowing that she was probably... Gone. Made this all a bit easier to swallow. Although I wonder if that is simply me trying to rationalize. War is hell on, hell on our good earth. A cruel dastard it is. Nothing is worse. I know your pain, Kasuma. Perhaps that is no consolation for the weight you bear. I was young when my father died. I was still but a boy. I admired my father very much. He was strong, courageous. All traits I aspired to be. He was struck by a stray arrow while protecting the villagers from attack. The village was saved, but my father's life was lost. I grieved. I wept. I was in rough shape for a time. But I remembered that I had a duty to fulfill. I had to be strong. I could not show any weakness. To lead those around me and to rally behind my banner, I had to cast my feelings aside and be a leader. Are you asking me to bottle my feelings up? To not show my vulnerability? To not display my grief? Chief Walio, while I admire your attempts to console me, I must handle this my own way. I will allow myself to be vulnerable. But I will not let it get in the way of performing my duty. Our feelings, they make us uniquely human. I disagree that to show weakness makes for a poor leader. In fact, I'd say it shows how strong they truly are. They're not afraid to face how they feel in trying times. Chief, with all due respect, I will handle myself as I see fit. Kasuma, I... I'm sorry, Chief. Forget what I said. No. I only wish I had heard it sooner. Kasuma, thank you. I came to console you. But you have in fact consoled me. Don't worry about me, Chief. My eyes may be swollen with tears. But that doesn't mean I'm unable to fight. Do not think me weak. Do not think me wavering. I just want to clear our name just as much as you do. We'll go to Navan and end this for good. Yes. Yes, Kasuma, we will. Thank yes, we will. Kasuma, thank you. Weird. We will not let <laughs> we will not let Hindrawan's efforts go to waste. And I will certainly respect your wishes. Indeed. Thanks, Chief. Okay, we finally reached the end of part three. Um Yeah, you know what? I, I that it was good. It was a good thing that they did a route split or like uh they split it up there. Um it did because if they just stuck with Storch's point of view, like, it, Walio's point of view wouldn't, I don't think, would have made a whole lot of sense. So, do so. I was a little iffy on, like, the, the party switch, but, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that, hap that happened there. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we have a great rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.